In this lecture, we begin with the following experimental setup. Suppose that we have two wires placed 10 centimeters away from one another. Suppose that in wire 1, we have an electric current I1 that's flowing upward, and the magnitude of our current flowing upward is 7 amps. And suppose I have the same magnitude of electric current flowing downward in our wire number 2. So they have the same magnitude but different directions. And suppose I want to find my magnetic field midway between my two wires. Midway simply means smack in the middle. So 5 centimeters from wire 1 and 5 centimeters from wire 2. So along this entire line, what is my magnetic field? Well, before I try to find the magnitude of my magnetic field, I must first find the direction of my magnetic field due to this wire, and then find my direction of my magnetic field due to this uh, current in this wire. So, to begin, let's first look at the top to bottom view, or the aerial view, of this experimental setup. So, we basically flip this guy this way. Now, this guy is simply wire number one and this guy simply wire number two. This circle and the dot simply means that our current is coming out of the board. And our circle and the X simply means our current is going into the board. So, to find the direction of our vectors, we simply use our right hand rule. So, this finger points in the direction of the current, so it's going this way. So we wrap our hand around our wire and we see that our magnetic field points in this direction. So I drew arrows pointing this way, this way, and this way. So at this point, our magnetic field is pointing upward. So lots of the same thing for wire number two. Now we have to reverse our direction of our field because now we have of our current because now our current is going inside. So we point inside and we see that our field is going this way. So I draw arrows going this way. And we see that at this point midway, our magnetic field vector, our direction of our vector from this guy is also pointing upward. So that means we have two vectors both pointing in the same direction upward. So to find my net magnetic field midway, I simply add these two guys up. So let's add these two guys up. But let's first recall what the formula for our magnetic field is. So whenever we have a, a, a very long wire and we want to find the magnetic field produced by the current flowing in that wire, we use this equation. So a magnetic field is equal to permeability of free space divided by 2 pi, so this guy is simply a constant, multiplied by the current flowing through our wire times the distance at which we're trying to find our magnetic field. So the distance in both cases is 5 centimeters, which by the way we have to first convert to meters. So we take 5 and divide it by 100, we get 0.5 meters. Now our I for both cases is 7a and our um, u naught is simply 4 pi times 10 to the negative 7. So to find my total or net magnetic field midway between my two wires I simply add up B1 and B2 and that gives me these two guys. So I add them up, I plug in all my information, so I plug in 7 amps here and 7 amps here, then I plug in 0 0.05 meters for both cases, and I take out my common term, I add, <coughs> I add these two guys up, multiplying by this constant, and I get 5.6 times 10 to the negative 5 Teslas. So this is the net magnetic field found midway between my two wires. Now notice the following, if we reverse this direction of our current, if this automatically now goes upward instead of downward, then this vector will point downward. And now if we try to find our net magnetic field, we have to subtract this guy and not add that guy. And that means since our current is the same and we have the same distance from each of the wires, these guys will cancel out and we will find a magnetic field of zero midway between our two wires.